Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to uh, 360 degree heads in Cartoon Animator Force. This is a powerful new feature that allows us to create a much larger range of head rotations and much smoother looking as you can see on these characters here. We have uh, some miscellaneous characters on the screen. Let's just uh, take a quick look, a closer look at this uh, little girl character here. Um, like I mentioned, the uh, the rotation range is a lot lo a lot larger. You can see it looks very natural. Uh, we're kind of simulating that uh, three dimensional head with our three 360 head uh, creation here in uh, Cartoon Animator 4. Um, so you can just see the characters here. Let's just move over here to uh, our dragon. Even characters with like long and interesting uh, faces, like the snout here, for example, on this dragon, we can uh, you know create 360 degree heads for this character and uh, you know smooth rotation, as well as this. Uh, Grim Reaper over here who uh, is very disappointed in you. You can see a very unique style of uh, head um, with the nice smooth rotation thanks to the new 360 degree head rotation technology in Cartoon Animator 4. And we also have it for uh, quadrupeds as well. So we have there's, uh, this uh, little Shiba Inu dog here just kind of walking along and, and talking, saying something here. Okay, so you can see the nice uh, 3D head rotation on this character as well. Now you can find all these characters. They come embedded with uh, Cartoon Animator 4. By the way, these ones here are under character, under G3360. You can go and you can find your uh, G3 human right here. Okay, under miscellaneous, you'll find the Grim Reaper, you'll find Puff, and you'll find uh, the girl, I believe her name is Sandy. Sandy girl, there you go. Okay. And the uh, dog over here is under G3360 Animals. There's a number, number of different quadrupeds there as well. A cat, Shiba, uh, Ted's dog, and a Tumba as well. Okay, so on top of that, we also have uh, Freebone characters. Okay, so these ones here are under G3360 Spine. Okay, and G3360 Wings. So these 360 degree heads can also be applied to basically any character with any bone structure. Okay, you can just create your own head, and I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial here on a head creation for 360 or 360 degree head creation. Um, you can kind of see these characters here. Uh, on top of that, also free bone actors, so they don't have to have any templates. They can also be a totally free bone like this character here. You can find him under G3360 Free Bone, um, the uh, King of Spades here. There's a nice slick mustache. Uh, okay, so you get some nice. Uh, head rotation here as well. So here you can see three angles of the same female character here um, with the very nice and smooth 360 degree red head rotation here. Um, so the, the multiple body angles, the 45 degree angle also allows you to create, you know, the, the, uh, the simulation of more body rotation in your, on your 2D character as well. And let's go ahead to the uh, side character here beside this female character. So that's uh, very useful. So the new G3360 characters, humans also have more body angles. You can see side and then side two. Okay. So that allows us to uh, simulate a much more accurate uh, rotation and smoother results for your character's motions. And here we have a uh, angry looking character here. Okay. Uh, you can see that the rotation here is almost 360 degrees. So it's a, it's a far more enhanced um, head rotation. Uh, almost 360 degrees, like I mentioned, and we'll talk more about how we achieve this in later tutorials. For now, I'm just going to introduce you to these kind of character types, and we'll move along from there. Okay, so you can create uh, characters with non-standard bone structure attached to a 360-degree head, like this character. If we just uh, take a look at it, let's just uh, go to somewhere where he's facing the camera here. Select our character and go to the uh, um, 2D motion key editor here. You can see it's just a single bone, and we're going to create a very similar... Um, head to this uh, the, to this character um, later on in this uh, in this tutorial here. So you can see we can just move them around like this. Uh, we can also bring in uh, another like free bone character. Let's go to actor G3360 free bone like this uh, Samantha character. Let's move this guy to the side a little bit. Here we go. Uh, bring the Samantha character. Let's scale her down a little bit. She's a little bit large for our uh, screen here. So you can see this is a free bone character as well. If we go to the uh, structure right here, but this one has you know a much more a much different structure. So the shoulders and everything like that. It's a custom bone structure that we've created, and if you want, you can just go ahead and uh, you know use the face key editor as well, and you go to like morph. You can have your character kind of look in different directions, just like this. You can have your character look like around like this, and get some very nice uh, results. Um, you know, very accurate and very smooth uh, head rotation with these new 360 degree heads. Okay, so I just wanted to emphasize, you can put them basically on any type of character. I'm gonna start a new project. I'm gonna show you a scenario here where we can actually create a simple head uh, really quickly. We're gonna use one of our characters 
uh, G3360 human. Uh, we're going to use uh, Ted down here. Okay, side facing Ted. Uh, Ted S is at 45 degree angles here. And we're going to apply a quick animation to him. I'm going to show you how to uh, knock off his head. All right. So we're going to go to the animation tab here. Um, Turner's male. We're just going to side facing motions here. Uh, there's one called walk and fall down. All right. Let's click and drag that onto Ted and apply it to him. And whoops, just kind of bails on the street there. Okay. I'm going to actually just press F3 and go into the timeline here. And I'm going to take my project slider down here. All right, just like this. I'll go into the motion track. You can see the motion clip there. Um, I'll just kind of make it a little bit further over here. Okay, so we, Ted's basically walking along here and he just bails. So the first thing we want to do is we want to save out Ted's head as a separate head. Okay, and we're going to uh, bring in a free bone and just uh, basically attach that head sprite to the, uh, to the free bone there. Okay, so to wait, the way we can uh, save Ted's head, uh, the head of Ted, is just go over here to uh, Actor tab and go to uh, Custom. And under uh, Head here, we'll find uh, this plus button. And we can just press plus, and that'll save out Ted's head for us, okay? A uh, very simple process. There we go. We'll just call it uh, Ted's, oops, Ted's head. There we go. Okay, mission accomplished. So what we need to do next is we need to bring in a bone. So let's go over here to Actor uh, Template here. And under uh, G3, we'll go down to G3 here and uh, G3 free bone. I'm going to bring in this uh, base bone here, okay? Okay, so let's uh, load up the, uh, let's click it and load up the composer here. We'll go over to composer mode, and you can see it's just a single bone, all right? So what we want to do here is we need to attach that uh, head that we uh, saved out to this bone. Uh, the easiest way to do that, just go to our content manager here. Uh, under the custom tab, we'll find uh, under head here, uh, custom rather, we'll find the head that we saved out, uh, Ted's head right here. Just click and drag it onto the bone until the bone turns green. And Shazam, we have a disembodied head of Ted. All right, now we need to get rid of that sprite that's in the background here, this gray antenna type thing. So just go ahead and select it. Go over here to our sprite editor, and we will just select that bone and delete it like this. And we're good to go. Okay, so we have a bone structure with Ted's head um, and the bone all taken care of. Now, uh, one thing, if I select Ted's head right now and I try and rotate it, it's going to rotate from the neck, okay, just like this. Um, Later on in this uh, example here, we're going to have Ted's head rolling, so it's actually going to be easier to move it down. Um, press Control Z there, just to get it back to the angle there. Uh, it's going to be easier just to move it down to the rotation point right here. Okay. And that's going to allow us to rotate it from the center uh, of basically here. Okay, so it'll just kind of roll along the ground. Right? It sounds pretty morbid, but we'll, uh, it'll be kind of funny in the end. All right, let's just go back to the stage mode here. And we're going to have this uh, disembodied head of Ted. Okay, so I'll just move this over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, select the uh, original Ted here. And we're just going to go to the scene manager. And you can see we have Ted right here. If we go to composer mode uh, one more time with Ted, we're going to just go ahead and delete his head. All right, and we'll replace it with this disembodied head. Uh, so all we need to do is go to face here and just press delete. Okay, and that's going to delete basically the entire face, and now Ted is headless, all right? So we'll go back to uh, stage mode here. That's all we needed to do here. And I'm going to place this disembodied head neatly right on Ted's shoulders. Okay, boom. Okay, so now what's going to happen is, well, Ted's going to walk and fall, but his head, the head, the dis disembodied head is going to stay there. So what we need to do is we need to link that head to the body. Okay, just go here to uh, link at the top. Okay, just click it. And then link the character to the, just go to the, the neck nub here is good. Okay. And now if we play back, the head's going to fall with uh, Ted's body. Okay. Cool. So we just did a really simple head swap there. Okay. So what we can do, the, the cool thing about linking is you can actually unlink as well. So when he's falling and Moon kind of hits the, his head right there, what we can do is then we can go ahead and unlink with the head selected. We'll go here and click it and then select unlink. Okay. And if you open the link track, you can see that uh, we need to select the head first. So the head is right here and use this uh, object related track. And there we go. So we're linked from here to here. And then after that, we're no longer linked. The head's no longer linked. So what I'm going to do with this, uh, it's called base bones is the head here. What I'm going to do is just open the transform track. I'm going to just double click on the transform track to create a keyframe. And then we can go down a few, few more frames like this and uh, maybe move it over here a little bit and have it rotated. Uh, a few, okay, just like this. So then we have a, uh, whoops, we're kind of rotating the wrong way there. Just like this, that should work. Oh, now we need to rotate uh, a bit more this way. There we go, that should do the trick. Okay, 
So uh, his head will kind of just fall and his head will <laughs> rotate along like that. Now, what you can do, another funny thing you can do is you can add some uh, facial expressions onto this as well. You can go to your uh, face editor, to, uh, key, face key editor here. Okay, so any heads that you save out, they can be edited using this tool. Okay, we'll just go to template for example here. I'm going to show you like he's going to have happy Ted walking along and then maybe a few frames later, he's going to have a surprise look on his face. So we'll go to surprise here and use a surprise template. Okay, oh, like that. And then when he hits the ground, maybe boink like that. We'll have a maybe like an angry kind of a look like this Ugh. or maybe evil. You know, you can use any of these. Ugh. So then we have this. We have him like happy and then uh, and then uh. and then maybe he's a uh, sad as he's as his head stopped rotating he starts to become sad so we'll go to uh, sad here and uh, do this one here okay there we go good enough so we have the uh, four stages of falling down uh, if we just play back oh there we go okay and then he gets back up without his head. But that's really the, the cool advantage of, uh, you know, using 360 heads and the ability to save heads out separately and attach them to bodies. Just a fun example to show you guys the flexibility of, of that uh, of that tool. Um, so hopefully you learned a lot in this uh, little quick tutorial. We'll have more detailed tutorials on creating your own 360 degree heads. Uh, so stay tuned for those on our YouTube channel and also check out our learning center on the Cartoon Animator 4 product page. And of course, our forums over at forum.relusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.